Hi everyone, Tech TV here. Are you having trouble with your Epson printer? Due on this service required error or printers at the end of its service life. Same as with my Epson EcoTank L3256 printer. The red indicator lights are flashing. This error occurred due to full waste ink pad counter. And this a common error of almost all Epson printers. Now let's check first the printer's status monitoring to see its actual error. So here it shows that printer is on service required or full wasting counter. To fix this error in just a few minutes. Inkchip provides as the best software solution to fix error easily. To reset your printer's waste ink pad counters easily. In just a few seconds by using their waste ink counter utility for Epson printers. To start resetting your Epson printers, just open your internet browser. Then search for inkchip.net. and click to open their webpage. And this the official website of inkchip.net. A inkchip solution for chipless printing. Click on WIC tab to download the waste counter utility for Epson printers. Inkchip adjustment program or waste ink counter reset utility for Epson printers. Just scroll down to go on free download. Just click on your preferred language to start downloading the utility software. This are the supported printer model for Inkchip Utility Adjustment Program. It support Epson L-Series printers. Supports XP Series. Workforce Series. Stylus Office Series and Stylus Photo Series. Stylus Series. Artisan Series. Sure Color Series. PX Series, PM Series and K Series Printers. ME Office Series and ET Series. EP Series. E Series, M Series and ME, M Office Series and also EW series printers. Then after downloading the WIC utility software, just click on download and open the file to install. Then click yes. Click OK to install. Before we proceed to reset the printer waste ink counter, make sure to install the printer driver properly. To install just open your web browser to download the printer driver first. Then search your printer driver. Make sure to download the printer driver from their official support website. Then select your current operating system. Click Go. Then scroll down and click on Drivers. Then click Download to download the printer driver. Then click Accept. Then open the file to install the printer driver. Then open the Inkchip Utility Software.
Then this is the interface of Ink Chip Adjustment Program version 1.18 utility. Then click Waste Ink Counters. Click on drop down arrow to select your printer. Then before we can proceed to reset the ink counter. Click Read Waste Ink Counter first. Then here it shows this counter has reached its limit. So click Reset Waste Ink Counter. Then here you ask to input your reset key. So to have your reset key just go on their website. Just scroll down. And here's their reset key prices to purchase. They have one key for 9.99 US dollars. And they have also three reset key for 6.99 US dollars. And 5.99 US dollar for five reset keys. After purchasing a reset keys, just copy the reset keys. And paste it into the ink chip adjustment program. And click OK. To done reset just restart your printer. Turn off. After turning off, just turn on again. Then click Waste Ink Counter to verify if the reset is successful. Then reset was successfully worked. Then now let's have a test print. That's how simple it is to reset your Epson printers. Easily using the Ink Chip Adjustment Program or WIC Reset Utility for Epson printers. To download the WIC Reset Utility, I have the link down on the description below on this video. To watch more tutorial videos like one, please subscribe and I hope to see you next time.